So we come to another album that has been recommended to me by my fans. So thank you so much. I've been really enjoying this guy. And so let's dive into some really interesting progressive tech metal. Let's do this. Urn by Neo Bleviscaris. I think I nailed that. Um, so Neo Bleviscaris is a Australian progressive rock band, and Neo Bleviscaris is Latin for "Do Not Forget." Uh, yay, Google Translate. Um, and this is the first album that I've heard from them. It's their third, and what I've I've just been loving this. I love how they have used kind of that. I almost equate it to like the systematic chaos version of Dream Theater blended very well with like the Watershed or the Ghost Reservoirs uh, Opeth and just blending those two together. And what makes these guys stand out is the balance between the guttural growling vocals and the clean vocals. And to do that properly, they actually have two different vocalists. We have Tim Charles that does the clean vocals as well as the violin, and that's really what sets these guys apart, is the use of the violin. Like, I love, and I know I'm going to get to this when I actually dive into some of the specific tracks on here, but I love the violin work on this. I love how it's very akin to, like, the metal guitars of, like, the, the mid-90s, where they're off tune just enough to be a slightly unsettling but still playing within the song to such an extent that it provides such great atmosphere um and so joining tim we have oh boy here we go uh zeno rear uh for the now they say it's the harsh uh vocals but it's the growling it's the yelling it's kind of that screaming atmosphere and it's the two that work very very well together now joining these and rounding off the band we do have daniel presklin on drums as well as benjamin barrett on lead guitars and so these guys just are able to produce some fantastic extreme tech metal and urn opens up very very well with which is libra part one and oh man i i love where this guy goes it reminds me of prophets of war from dream theater at least within part of that chorus like it has that same kind of root that's nourished throughout and that playing style provides such a great hook and that's that such great meaty hook <laughs> And Libras really provides that kind of duality about them. Like part two is just that little outro with the violin work and it provides such moving atmospheres. And so the mid piece of intravenous, again, I love the little play on words of intravenous, the finger picking on the acoustic guitar that we have that's provided by Benjamin. I, I believe it's Benjamin that's providing that. Um, his just ability to master that guitar work is just, outstanding like his fingers must be going a mile a minute and yet it provides such a great atmosphere throughout this song and again the song has a lot of those ebbs and flows that i really really like they don't just stand in one spot like they don't just do the chaos the entire time they don't just do the melodic part all the time they they blend the two together to create just a fantastic little piece so the fourth track of eerie is actually the longest piece of this album and it provides again a lot of that ebb and flows that i was talking about but what i really like about this piece that i didn't really hear too much on the the first three tracks is their ability to blend the harsh vocal Vocals, like that growling vocals as a harmonizing piece for the clean vocals and they can do this live with the dual vocalists and that kind of presentation is really great I love that they take their really long time to set up this song and so when we get into that really chaotic point it just really hits us home and that's really why I like this style of music and these last two tracks just really you know, close out the album fantastic. Uh, part one and part two don't really feel like the same song. Like these two are definitely their own unique identities. Um, and again, the same thing can be said about these two tracks that haven't already been said. Um, again, love the violin work, the guitar work off of this. Ah, so good. Jeez, Benjamin is able to just like melt my face with a lot of this, this 
the, these meaty licks on the guitar. Like each time I'm like, dude, how can you outdo yourself? He's able to do it. And I'm just like, <laughs> and I got to talk about the ending. The ending off of this part two is just so good. It's so good. Um, the, the ending where we've got that, that synthesizer coming in. And I love that drum work. The drum work is just so brilliant in being at the same time brutal the same time very subtle as well like i love the symbols that are just like crashing all over the place it closes on such a high note that i'm left just repeating the entire cycle all over again and that's really what i want <laughs> The biggest advantage of this album is the time because it's a very uh, great package at 45 minutes. Uh, it's exactly the amount of music that we need. Uh, it provides enough to wet our palates, enough to get us excited about the music, and enough to come right back around. Uh, there's a lot of meaty aspects of this album. There's a lot of really standout moments that keep me wanting more, and it keeps delivering as well. Overall, I've been loving this album, and I was really, really surprised about it. Uh, my overall rating for this album, obviously, you gotta go out and pick it up. This is one you gotta have on physical format. If you can find it on vinyl, definitely pick it up. Uh, so, that's about it from me. What are your thoughts about this? I will definitely take this album and start to go back into the past discography, uh, just with the amazing work that this album has brought to it. Uh, but what are some of your thoughts about this album? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know of your own thoughts by commenting down below. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are definitely the best. And until next time, notes out. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching once again. I'm just doing a little bit of an end card here. It's December, which means I've got a notes review community survey going on. I've left that link down below, so go fill that out. It's a census. It's just to let me know a little bit more about yourself. I've got a couple fun links there for other videos to check out as well as subscribe. So definitely check those out as well as some social media things down below. Thank you guys once again. Notes out.